Good morning, it's Wednesday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity. That is Ken Shaving and BSE, home of your big shave, best champion, as always. And technically, this is a new blade, so we'll, we'll just keep up with the name, the Not New Blade Review series, but this is a new blade for me. I received it in a, it was a throw-in, like a, you know, just a little gift from a West Coast shaving order some time ago. I've had it for a while. The Supermax Platinum, as they go flying out of the tuck here, but that's okay. The Supermax Platinum comes in Indian made, distributed out of the UK. Um, I'm, I'm, my Hindi is terrible. I believe it's in, yeah, it should be Indian. I don't know if it's Vidya, but it's V I D U or Y U T, but Supermax, as well know, Supermax Platinum comes like, like this. And it is double wrapped with no glue buds. Actually, no, glue buds on one side even. So, a <laughs> nice little Russian smattering of, or Japanese, I should say, look at the way they're spread. So glue budded on one side, wax paper, and outer wrapper. Hmm, thorough. <laughs> okay, I, I've i read only a couple things on this blade over the year or so, just looking around at it, mixed reviews. One day's growth, we'll get it loaded here in the Rockwell 6S, of course, during this whole experiment. Plate four. Atomic rocket brush at the ready. Cube, our post shave fares and star jelly. And we're just, since it's out, we're going to go back to the Porthos. It's meeting hell day, so want to be inoffensive, but uh, smell good for meetings, you know, just because uh, you're in proximity, you don't want to stink, but you don't want to be offensive either. Plus, I, I was at the hospital for a little bit last night. Mom is actually working some, thanks to internet. And the funny coincidence is, she has medical transcription and the main contract that the company has that she works for. And she's doing like quality assurance supervisory stuff. So it's not, not that she doesn't necessarily need both hands because she's not really transcribing as much. She's more routing work and doing other stuff that, that she can do at the moment. But, you know, with Wi-Fi and the way it is now, everything's internet-based. So you don't have to worry about cassettes or discs or printing as much. It's all transmissions you know it's trans data transfer so it's an amazing thing nowadays that you know she can continue to do a little work and you know after a few down days okay, it's the porthos by the way crown king formula <laughs> dip the tips but so i had to I ran some errands getting her set up last night so she won't be as bored also during the day but for a block of hours she has occupational and physical therapy from like 9 30 to 2 30 with a, a break for lunch i'm assuming of different sessions of 30 minutes and that's good that's you know obviously that's what we want so her day will be pretty occupied so we'll get the I didn't run the cube on my face yet so let me load the brush and then set this down Paint on. I'm working on some dumb project calendar and not Microsoft project, uh, just a uh, kind of a spreadsheet, but like a calendar format just showing what projects um, that our counterparts on the our customer on the operational side their their maintenance sys administration guys have to prepare for and schedule for other contractors coming in and out for work um, things of that nature so I'm trying to come up with something for that get some water in then we'll start lathering up here
had a um, nice comment yesterday um, about lathering. I'm glad I've improved where people are going, hey, that's a good idea. I've just noticed, they talk about quick uh, painting strokes. I guess they're kind of, I guess he was referring to this. What I found, the reason I do this is what I found, the way this, and particularly this brush, but a lot of them do, when, if you, instead of mashing it down, first of all, you don't want to mash it down so you're not getting under the hair, it's from, from what I understand. <laughs> but I've just noticed the brush, instead of mashing it down to release lather, it, not having it, having it only down a little bit, I'm kind of working it, it releases more lather. As you can see, it starts to push and build. And then I, then I paint it on once, uh, once we start building a good lather. I'm gonna add some more water, of course. But it's just, I, I just have used this brush so much, you know, during this series. And I enjoy it in general. I've used it a lot since I got it. That it, it just seems to be a good lather releaser. Flow through up top and then the bottom flow throughs nicely to where you can you know get stuff on there so it seems to work out well <laughs> I guess not being the densest knot is not always a, a bad thing a little bit excess. Okay, let's warm up the Supermax here. Now I've seen like there's that diamond one that Chris Maiden used that he thought I sent him. I didn't send it to him. <laughs> it wasn't me, but he got a good shave with it. In fact, he got some good, a couple, few good shaves with it. So, all right, let's see how the Supermax Platinum treats old uh, Ken here. Seems okay so far in this initial, this initial pass on the cheek. One day's growth again, of course. I want to be a little late to work, but. But people will understand, plus, hell, half the time. There's only a few folks in the office before I get there, and then they leave before I do. Now, if I didn't shave on camera, I'd be done probably maybe half the time, but... Or I'd cut a third back at least. <laughs> oh, it's treating me real well. Feels smooth. No real tugging. No. Feels okay. I <laughs> really don't have a complaint with it so far. Uh, not the closest first pass, but nothing ever really is, as I as I've said, you know, fairly routinely. <laughs>
now that I'm thinking about it, I guess with a synthetic brush, you don't really get an exfoliation factor like you would with a bore. See, like there's a bunch of soap here. Let's get that, put that back on. Like a bore brush, you'd get a really natural exfoliation. Badger somewhat. But synthetics, not so much. Yeah, you can get under and lift the hairs, but seems like, you know, with the softness, it's you get that, you know, per, you get that brilliant comfort. But the brush is good, just going to be your, when you're, whether your face or bowl lather and your agitator just builds your lather, of course. And like I said, the less I press down, the more it releases onto the face. And And I've gotten better with my lathers, thankfully. <laughs> there was a time back in my history when partly bitchy and partly funny, you know, I'd call myself the king of weepers, the worst latherer and wet shaving and a few other things. Just more tongue in cheek, but partly true because technique was bad, a few other things, you know. Then what I found also in my attempt to just kind of use it, this channel as an outlet. It's funny, I found it a, a growing opportunity as well. Because I thought I could try to be funny or make a point or whatever, but you know, ranting and you know, stuff. It's funny when you have negative energy, you're venting, it almost kind of becomes a feedback loop of feeds it and then you get more spun up and you know, you, it's better to have these conversations elsewhere and instead of, in essence, talking to yourself as I talk to this tablet. And then you all thankfully watch my pittance of a channel and you know, see it, but I'm, I'm having this very one-sided conversation in a way. And then through reflection, feedback, other learning other things about myself, observation, personal observation, it didn't, it didn't, you know, make it worth my time to <clears throat> vent on this. I mean, everyone needs an outlet, but here it didn't do any more than <clears throat> just get me spun up and then gener generate comments. I read the comments and I have an opinion on that and, you know. I know I sort of brought this up a couple of videos ago. All right, let's get back to the the shave here. Uh, it's a decent second pass. Uh, not not as close as others have been. Even yesterday's with the um, what are you with the uh, Perma Sharp, the uh, Perma Sharp Super Stainless, whatever it is, the Russian-made Turkish company. Feels pretty comfortable.
I'm getting leapers. It's good in some areas. I mean, it's okay. I mean... It'll get you through a shave. I mean, there's no question there. I mean, I've had better... I've had better results in two passes. Cue ball slash crystal. Um, the ASCO, my ASCO blades, whether it was the coated or non-coated. I was a little closer with the uh, Gillette 7 o'clock Super Platinum. A little bit closer with the Sharp Edge. Uh, the Pulse Silver. This is number 19, by the way. Of 20, I'll tell you what it we're going to do a real test at 20. I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> the viewer. <laughs> That's from a Chris Farley bit on Saturday Night Live. Well, part of his bit in a, a song they did for an opening monologue. Years and years ago, of course. I'm going to put a little more water in here. Refresh that soap. This looks good for a third. <laughs> looks good for a first. <laughs> okay. A little pretty close on my neck spots, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely not bad. Still feels comfortable. Excuse me. Take a little more off the chin there. The, my, the forest, that is our chin. <laughs> Do the mustache. Kind 
checking a few spots. Use some slickness to hit up those finicky spots I have. Actually, you do have a nice layer of slickness in case you're wondering. Yeah, that's good. Pretty close shave, good spots. Um, some areas would need a little more work if, if I was gonna chase the dragon. Let's see, we'll get to when the album block will show the truth, of course. <clears throat> All right. Ah! Surprisingly, not a lot of feedback. A uh, few areas where I did a little, you know, extra buffing. Like a little here, a little here. Nothing really in the mustache. Son of a gun. <clears throat> I had effectively some mild, mild feedback where I did some buffing around here, around here, which uh, to be expected. When, once I do a, kind of a third pass with a little buff, that's just going to come. Uh, nothing on the neck, except for maybe right here. Uh, nothing on the mustache. Uh, comfortable shave. Comfortable shave. Sharpest blade? No, not really. Comfortable? Yeah, uh, for me. Comfortable. Let's get our thayers on here. Definitely a good a good workday shave for a blade, I'd say. I don't know how many shaves we'll get out of it because I'm not testing max capacity. And by the time some of these sit here, you don't want to use them anyway. See, I got them just to give you a little pivot here. I got a whole bunch on a magnet strip right here, and they've all been one use. So we're probably going to bank those that have been sitting a while. Like the sharp edge looks like it. If it had a coating, it's now not effective anymore. So um, let's hit the star jelly. And for those of you who have been watching my videos a while, when I use PAA Crown King products, I usually say um, I'll include a link below to go to the website. You notice I haven't been doing that during the series. Well, because... I'm just not trying to, you know, I'm not trying, I'm, I mean, I, I hope you try the products because I like them. And yes, I do, like I said, I like Douglas and Fran, they're very nice people. Um, I've had, you know, I've broken bread with them a few times and they're really, they're, I find them great. Um, all whatever perceived history aside. But I'm just not, I'm not pushing product right now or anything or, I'm giving you an opinion on blades. I'm just using, you know, soap base. Uh, the soap base, because I started with one, I didn't want to change it up on you. So, all right. So. Okay. I think we are done. So, uh, opinion on the Super Max blade. Decent. Uh, I found it comfortable. I think uh, it will give you a good workday shave unless you need a sharper blade for, of course, your uh, your beard thickness and coarseness levels. 
Uh, I don't know how many skin types would tolerate it. Mine tolerated it fine, but then again, I think I'm probably very middle of the road on terms of beard and skin because I've used a lot of blades. And while I only had one, I considered a poor shave based on feedback and, and um, closeness. I really have had average to really good shaves with most of these blades, whether whether it was initial sharpness and feel and the comfort was high or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know. So when we do number 20, and I'll save a really scary blade for number 20, and I don't mean the feather, I mean something that, if I thought the Zay was a mystery man, we'll see how this one goes. So with that, thank you as always for watching, good brothers and good sisters. Um, stay safe, try safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers. Watch out for school zones or your school buses. Too sweet to all y'all out there. And I will see you all tomorrow for not new, new slash not new blade review video number 20 in the series. The adventure will take an interesting twist. And then what I'll do is I'll work up my list and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, um, we'll talk about the first 20. I'll, I'll, I'll do some notes um, probably in the evening here and figure out where we're at. Because I think I got a good idea now. So... Then we'll get to a, a couple good blades because Lord knows after this blade, I'm going to need some good blades to heal and get some good shaves again. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.